Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install MB on Open Media Vault 5. Now you may have seen a previous video where I showed how to install Plex on Open Media Vault 5. And in this video, as I mentioned, I wanna show how to install MB. So MB is very much like Plex, but just a different alternative in case for some reason you don't wanna use Plex, can't use Plex, whatever the case may be. In this video, again, I'll show you how to install MB on Open Media Vault 5 using Docker and Portainer. Okay, so to get started, you're going to need to have Open Media Vault set up, uh, installed, configured, ready to go. Now here you can see um, in my Open Media Vault system, I've already got a configuration folder. Now this is going to be configuration for uh, any of the different applications or Docker uh, containers that I've got on my server. All of my configuration files go into here. Now I've also got some folders set up for media where I've got uh, kids movies, uh, regular movies and TV shows. Uh, we're gonna have to come back to these three, um, but make sure that when you set up uh, your configuration and your media uh, shared folders, that you set it up not only under shared folders, but also then add them to the SMB CIFS under shared so that you've got configuration. Uh, in my case, kids, you may not have a kids folder, but you'll probably definitely have a movies folder and a TV folder as well. Uh, you will need the configuration and movie and TV. Again, the kids is optional. I just wanted to have a separate library just for kids movies. Once you've got your folders set up uh, for your different types of media, you may also have music or photos or something like that. But once you've got all of your folders set up under uh, shared folders under uh, the access rights management, as well as under CMB at CIFS under shares here, once you've got all that set up, then we can start working on actually installing MB in Docker and Portainer. So here you can see that I'm logged in to, uh, to Portainer. And what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and click on our local here, and then we can go over to stacks. So here you can see the different stacks that I have uh, in here already. And what we'll do is we'll just click on add stack. Um, and then we're gonna come over to um, this hub.docker.com slash r slash Linux server slash MB. And when you get there, it's gonna look like this. We'll just scroll down a bit until we find this Docker Compose, compatible with Docker Compose V2 schemas. And then we're just gonna highlight this. We're gonna copy it and we'll come back over and we're gonna paste that in there. Now I'm just gonna copy MB from here and I'm gonna paste it right up there to give our stack a name. So uh, once we've got that, then the next, things, the next thing that we need to do is adjust our PUID and PGID. Uh, now, if you don't know what those are, uh, it's very, very easy to find. What you'll do is you'll open PuTTY and we'll bring that up to here and we'll go ahead and type in our IP address. Now your, your server's IP address will probably be different. So just go ahead and type in your server's IP address here. Um, make sure that it's on port 22 and then click open. Now we're gonna log in as root. Um, this is gonna be the root password uh, from when you set up uh, open media vault to start with. So we're gonna type in root and hit enter. And then we'll type in our password. And so again, what we're looking for is the user ID or the PUID and PGID of the admin account for our portainer user. So what I'm gonna do to get that is I'm just gonna type in ID, oops, ID admin, because that's what I've got my username as is admin. And then I'll go ahead and press enter. So we can see my UID, which we're gonna translate over to PUID is 998 and my PGID is 100. So I can change this by changing that and doing that. So now our PUID and PGID are set. So the next thing I'll do is I'm gonna change this TZ, which is time zone to America slash Denver, cause that's, I'm really close to there. Um, the UMask set, you don't necessarily need, but it's there, it works. Go ahead and leave it, take it out whatever makes you happy there. So the next thing that we need to do is set up a configuration path. Um, and what we're gonna do to get that is we're gonna come back over, over to Open Media Vault, and then we'll go over here to shared folders. And what we're looking for is absolute path. Now, if you don't have absolute path, you can hover over any of these headers here, click the drop down, go to columns, and toggle absolute path either on or off. Um, and so now we've got this, what I like to do is right click here, go to inspect. Uh, again, that opened in the wrong window, but then we're just gonna look for uh, this line in here that it's highlighted that matches this SRV disk or dev disk by label of files, config line. I'm just gonna double click that, right click and click copy. So then I'll come back to Portainer, 
go to my volumes and I'm just going to uh, paste that in there. But then I'm gonna add MB to the end of that. So now we've got our MB configuration line taken care of. The next thing we need to do is basically the same thing, but with TV shows. So we'll come back over here. We'll go to TV, we'll right click, we'll do inspect. Again, we're gonna double click and then copy, come back to Portainer and we're gonna paste that in. Uh, we will do the same thing, but because I know the path, I can just go ahead, paste that in there and change that to movies. Um, let me make sure. Uh, yep. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to actually just copy this whole line here. Oops. I'm going to paste that in and I'm going to say um, kids. And I'm also going to change movies to kids. Uh, you can leave this um, in here, but I don't have a transcoding folder, I don't think. Uh, I don't, you can create one if you want and uh, put the path in there the exact same way if you wanna do that. I don't necessarily need that, so I'm going to delete it. Um, and then next we've got ports. So uh, port 8096 is the port that you'll access and be on a non-secure network. Uh, most people are going to be using a non-secure network unless you've set up a, a security certificate on your server. Um, chances are you haven't done that. Uh, so you'll just leave this 8096 alone. If you have, however, installed an SSL on your server, uh, you can use this 8920 port. I don't have it, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. And then under devices, I'm also going to remove that um, because it's optional and I don't need it. Um, I'm actually not entirely sure what it does, um, but just to avoid any complications, I'm going to remove it. So now we've got everything set up here the way we want it. So. Uh, what we'll do then is uh, now that we've got our name and all of our configuration here, we'll just scroll down and we'll click deploy the stack. We'll give this just a minute to do its thing. And then once it's uh, switched over to the other screen, we'll go ahead and look at the containers and go into the log files. Okay, so now that we've got that, we can come over to containers. Uh, we'll scroll down a little bit. We'll find MB right here. We're gonna click on this little piece of paper for logs. And we're just gonna take a look and it looks like everything here should be good to go. So what we can do then is we can copy this URL and paste it over into a new tab. We're gonna change 9000 to 8096 and press enter. So now that's working. So now we'll go through this quick setup process that a preferred display language for me is going to be English, United States. Um, my username, we're just gonna call this DB Tech. I'm gonna put in a password. And of course you'll put in your own username and password here if you want to. Um, the, the next one is optional. If you have an MB account, you can go ahead and put that in there. I don't, or I don't for the sake of this video, so I'm not gonna put anything in there. And I'll go ahead and click next. So now we're given the option to add a media library. So I'll go ahead and click on that. The content type uh, will be movies. Uh, I'm gonna leave the display name as movies. Then I'll click uh, right here on this little plus to add, we're gonna scroll down a little bit until we find um, a data slash movies folder. Um, then we'll select movies there, that's fine. Um, and then we can go ahead and click on okay. Um, and then you can go ahead and fill in uh, all of these. This is uh, to, to provide the download language for the metadata. Uh, we're also going to uh, select uh, the uh, country that it's in, which for me is United States. Um, preferred image download language. Again, for me, this will be English. Of course, you can fill these in with whatever your uh, whatever your region is. Um, if you want, so we're going to want to download uh, data about the shows, uh, movie folders, or movie posters, that sort of thing. So we're going to go ahead and use the uh, movie database. You can also add the movie, uh, the open movie database, if you want to do that. Um, save artwork into media folders. I like to do that. Uh, and label, enable thumbnail image creation, yep. We're gonna say save thumbnail images into folders, sure. Uh, subtitle downloads, we're gonna, again, we're gonna scroll down until we get to the option for our, our, our language here. For, again, that would be English for me and open subtitles is good. Um, and then the hash match, uh, you can toggle that however you like. Uh, so this is going to require it to find a download that is uh, exactly pertaining to your video file. Um, I've had kind of some issues with this where it doesn't download anything if it can't find an exact match. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and then we'll click on okay. 
And then it's gonna take a little while to index that. So we can go ahead and do the next one. Again, we're gonna say movies. Uh, this time I'm gonna change it to kids. Movies, like so. We're gonna add a folder. We're gonna scroll down to where we get to data slash kids. Um, that looks fine. So again, we'll go ahead and click OK. And then we can go through the same process for all of these, uh, just like we did before. Oops, I did that uh, in a previous one of these I was setting up. Um, I'm gonna say yes and yes, yes. We're gonna scroll down till we get to English for me um, and that and okay. And we'll do one more for uh, TV shows. Um, Oops, we're gonna click on add folder there. We're gonna go down until we find a media or a data slash TV shows. And here you can see that uh, there's another folder in there called Firefly because that's a TV show, the only TV show I have in a folder in that, in that TV shows uh, location. So go ahead and click okay. And again, we're just gonna keep filling these in uh, just like we did in the first one. United States. English, it's fine, it's fine. Um, yep, yep, yep. And we're gonna scroll down until we find our language. Do that and click okay. So now we've got uh, two movies um, set up in here, two movie categories rather, and TV shows. So we're gonna click next. Uh, preferred metadata language, English and United States. That's for me. Yours may be different, so go ahead and change those as necessary. We'll click Next. Uh, I don't want remote connections to this server at this time, um, so I'm going to go ahead and uncheck both of those. I'll click Next, and I agree. And we'll click Next, and we'll click Finish. Actually, this screen shows where you can download different apps, uh, whether it's for your phone or your TV or whatever the case may be. Uh, we'll go ahead and click on Finish. Um, so now it automatically found uh, the, the account that I created. So I'll go ahead and click log in there. I'll go ahead and type in my password, like so, and click sign in. And there we go. Um, so it's got uh, Bambi in here. It's got Army of Darkness. Those are both movies that I had in there, as well as a TV show here. Um, so these are what's going to be latest on your server, but you can then, if you wanted to, you can click on any of these where it says movies, TV shows, kids movies. These will eventually populate with the appropriate uh, metadata as far as uh, putting posters and that sort of thing uh, in each of these little blocks. Uh, but the, the server's brand new. It's still setting up, kind of, kind of settling in in the background. So that's all there is to setting up MB on an Open Media Vault 5 server. Okay, guys, one other thing I wanted to add to this just so that there's no confusion. Uh, some of you may be wondering, well, how do I add more movies or how do you, how do I add any movies to or TV shows to my MB server? So what we're going to do uh, is we're just going to go ahead and open up, um, you know, this PC or my computer, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to do, uh, we're going to go up into the address bar there. We'll type backslash backslash. And then we're just going to type in the IP address. Oops, 192.168. We're gonna type in the IP address of our server from up here without the port number. And in here, you should see a bunch of shared folders. This is the configuration folder. And if I open that up, you'll see here's the MB, uh, but we don't need anything in the configuration folder. What we need to focus on in this case will be the kids folder, the movies folder, and the TV folder. So uh, all you've got to do then is just drag uh, whatever, um, video files you want to add from your server. So what I'll do here, um, just for the sake of keeping this quick and easy, uh, actually, I'm going to go back over here to movies like so, and I'll go over here to my other server and we'll just open up. Let's drag over. Um, let's do Captain America Civil War. We'll just drag that over. We'll say, OK, we'll give this uh, a second or so to copy everything over from one server to the next. All right, so now we've got Army of Darkness and Captain America. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rename this. Oops, Captain America. Uh, oops, we'll say a Civil War. We'll go ahead and do that. And then we can um, come back over to here. We can then uh, click on the, the little three dots that are right there. We can say scan library files. 
And then we'll just go ahead and we'll open this up and there's Captain America Civil War. So that's how easy it is to add new uh, media to your MB server. Okay guys, there you go. There's how to install MB on Open Media Vault 5. A pretty simple process. I also threw in a little bit of extra information on there as far as how to add additional media to your MB server once it's all set up and ready to go. So hopefully you found the video helpful. If you did, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. It would help me out a bunch. Also, if you're interested in this kind of uh, material, these kinds of videos, these tutorials, uh, be sure to get subscribed so you can be notified when those come out. And I think with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.